Hello, this is Scott. So if you joined me before, this is part of my series on data science and advanced analytics. Um, today I'm covering actually the, the platform Statistica. And um, I named these series on these, this is going to be a tutorial. I, I named it with the convention SXX, uh, depending on where I am in the tutorials. I'm going to cover today control charts, um, and I'm going to create parameters for different sets. So let's jump right into uh, Statistica. And um, I'm going to continue on an example that I talked about last time. I'm going to use this data set within your examples uh, within Statistica called Cover STA. And if you'll remember, this Cover STA was actually um, some, uh, it's Cover, and the extension is STA. These are um, uh, quality measurements from a sensor. Uh, there are three uh, observations per sample. These are coming from a, a uh, manufacturing line, uh, an automatic uh, entry. So we have 20 samples in total, 60, 60 different rows. So I'm going to first, I'm going to create a control chart. So I'm going to go straight to the statistics tab here. I'm going to go control charts, QC charts, and then I'm going to go um, to the X bar and R chart for variables. Click OK. I'm going to define the variable, and I'm going to define the variable as length, and click OK. I'm going to, since I told you I had three in each set, and then uh, in each, each uh, the sample size was three. I'm going to put three and three there, as I did last time in S71, if you're with me. And I'm going to create the, the control charts, right? So um, now we can see that the, the variation via the R chart is within control, right? This lower chart, every, everything is within control. But the upper chart actually has a jump and several points um, out of control. And it looks like I've had a shift change. And so I actually talked to um, the, the engineers and they said that they changed the uh, machine um, at observation number 11. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two sets for this data and uh, see if the, the individual machines are in control. Um, and so that's the, the, the setup, right? So I'm going to use the set capability within Statistica. And I'm going to say, um, make new set. Let me just call this the old machine. And click Next. And then I want to make sure, by default, you should be in the range of consecutive samples. And that's fine. So I'm going to click Next. And so I know that this machine was available from one to 10. And so I'll manually select one to 10. Note, I could have brushed this as well, but I'll select one to 10 next. And again, a range of consecutive samples and you can do all of this on your own. I'm not gonna go through every, every option. I wanna keep these fairly short. So one more uh, next and uh, 10 and then finish okay so that is the the old machine and then the next thing i want to do is i want to uh, create that new set so i'm going to make the new set and i'm going to call this the new machine next next and then now make this 11 uh, observation 11 through 20 And um, 11, 20, and finish. OK, now if I go back to my charts, I'm going to calculate. I'm going to click on this uh, X, X bar and R chart button. And now I've got my new sets. So there is one other thing that I could do, and I could actually label these sets. So let me show you how to do that. If you go to the options, 
tab here and um, you include the, the short um, and long variable names in the titles. And then if I click OK, and then I actually rerun that chart, which I meant to do it this way the first time. Um, well, hang on just a sec. Oh, let me see. All right, so sets, options. Um, actually, the identified sets with different labels is bottom option. Let's try that. Uh, try that again. And sure enough, I do have my, my labels now. Um, and so let's look at what's happened. So again, the, the, the variation is in control, both for the, the old machine and new machine, um, as it was last time, although we can see that the limits have actually changed a little bit. And then uh, what's interesting is now that the old machine and the new machine are both in control. Of course, I'm assuming that I knew that the old machine was, was in control um, when, when I did this. And of course, you can um, you can argue that this machine needs to be recalibrated, rated based on process capability. Um, and I believe we covered uh, some process capability stuff um, last time. Um, the only other thing it is, is that in the sets tab, uh, let me show you. If I say summary, I get actually numerical summaries for these which is, is kind of useful. Another thing that's kind of useful, so there's it creates three, one for, for, the, for the full set, the old machine, and then the new machine. So let's say if I want to compare side by side, instead of uh, scrolling, I can actually um, extract this to a its own standalone window within uh, Statistica. Let me bring that down. Uh, and then, Pop this out. Uh, sorry, I'm not very agile. Um, and so that I can see the the old machine versus the new machine, and I can see the statistics, the the process mean, um, etc. So hopefully that was useful. Um, we'll be talking about industrial um, statistics and engineering applications and some uh, teacher, as well as other topics in Statistica. Here's a couple ways to contact me. Um, so you can shoot me an email if you like the series or there's something specifically you want to see. Thanks.